Shalom. Call hello Allah Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name is the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son it is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to you, Akim, your brothers that's pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, Shalom to you, Akim, once again. Shalom also to the Israelite foreign, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, the nations starting from 2 1 down, those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back, to these people as you see on this chart through the man and if your spirit bear witness with this word the truth you can receive it to the speckled bird man woman and child this does apply to you then you are Israelites though once again you do look like the heathen your scattered monks due to the scattering these people in this chart so once again you will have Israelites come looking like the other nations but then the Israelites because they're under the curse of Deuteronomy 28 to 15 verse on down the spirit bear witness with this word that they're the sons of does a Yahweh by Shema Shah and their lineage goes back to these people through the man, no matter what they come looking like, their fathers and Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also to the few aqua, a few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, believe, and do honor to your husband, Shalom. To the elect of Israel, Shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you could bond, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people, the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who the world only calls J.C., Yahweh Shah. And, um, try to quit. Breakfast table, where new normals are created, and where you watch them grow. Some of you may have been having problems connecting on YouTube or getting videos to play on your phone, on your computer, and you're wondering, well, what's going on? Do I need to call my internet provider? No. YouTube is down worldwide. So it's not you, and it's nothing that you did wrong. YouTube is down. Peace, family. All right, so um, yeah, that's what happened here, cause you know I'm yes yesterday I was uh right literally like after I put a video up, and I was watching one of the uh, brothers' videos, and um, I just noticed it just would never load, so I you know I, I uh, hopped off it, you know got back on it, did the same thing over and over and over again, and then it got to the point where I thought you know. Esau Edom, you know, he had knocked me off my account, you know, but it comes to find out that everybody, you know, was facing the same issue, that uh, it was basically, you know, down, world, and it said worldwide, it didn't say, you know, countrywide, nationwide, it said worldwide, man, everywhere, man, okay, because everybody, you, everybody gets on YouTube, man, that's like, you know, uh, the next thing next to Netflix, man, you see, so... This shows you, what this really shows you is why I'm doing a, a video on it. How the Lord, he's getting ready to uh, take the word out, man. You see? He's getting ready to uh, 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 close, you know, shop. You see? Let me get uh, start off with this. I ain't putting anything together, so I'm just going to go with the spirit. But how about Shema Shah, you know, he's getting ready to, uh, you know, bring that family the word in. All right? And, um, which, which I'll be happy when that happens, man. You see? I'll be glad when that happens. Um, so bear with me right quick. That's funny. Uh, I get... Ezekiel the seventh chapter, right? Let me see. All right. This is uh, Ezekiel seven and one it says, "Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh, by Shema was shot unto the land of Israel." You know, which you know, you got the land of Israel. You know, the land, the people, the land is the people for the place. And Israel, you, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, we are what? To warn you 
of what's to come, what's uh, uh, eventually is going to happen, okay, in the so-called future, right? It says, and in, the end has come upon the four corners of the, of the land, as I always get, the end, okay, is what? Jake, I mean, second edge is, uh, second edge is six, I believe, eight or nine, right? Tells you what? For Esau... It's the end of the world, which Esau, if you don't know, his uh is the uh, the so-called white man, the biblical nationality is Esau Edom, okay? And his seed line, you know, uh he's the end of the world, and what? Jacob's the beginning of that beginning of it that followed. So we are at the end of his world, man. His rulership. It says in the end, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, and evil, and only evil is, and only, and only evil, behold, is come. And end is come, the end is come, and watch it fully, behold, it is come. The morning has come on to thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time has come, the day of trouble, which is what? Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Okay? It's near, and not the sound again in the mountains, man. Now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and recompense thee for thy abominations, man. You see? And this is what we warn you, uh, you, 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 uh, you Israelites about, man. So what? Repent. Okay? Let your sins be blotted out, man. You see? Repent to Yahweh by Shema Shah get in order. That's what we warn you about. We also warn you about, okay, all the uh the troubles, you know, the famine, the martial law, the economic collapse, the economic collapse, okay? The uh, uh the, the so called civil race wars slash race wars, all these things. And you starting to see these things play out on the planet Earth right now. Okay? Well we are to warn you of these things and that Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh, okay, to come, you know, and uh, you know, and bring judgment, okay, to this world, man, that's ran by Esau Edom, man, okay. And we're warning you, okay. Let me get that right. Let me uh get Habakkuk two. Right, and uh, 2 and 1, it says, now Habakkuk 2 and 1 says, Now I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. And when the, and the Lord, how about Shema Shah, answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables that he may run, that he, that he may run that reef. And this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing these videos, okay? we letting you know. Okay, the set perils, the destruction that's to come to this uh this uh, uh empire that's being ran by Esau Edom, man. You know? Let me get uh this as well. Cause this is what the Lord's coming to do. The Lord's not coming back, okay? He's not coming back with flowers, he's not coming back with love. He's coming back to uh destroy the wicked and to deliver his deliver his elect. Alright. Alright. It says, let me see. All right. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel 2 and 1. It's all similar, but it says, And he said, Thought to me, son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I will send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. For they are puny children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet they shall know that there have been a prophet among them, man. You see? And that's what's going to eventually happen, man. Because, you know, two-thirds, you know, you uh, despise, you know, this word, man. You mock, you know, let me get that. Let me see. This is uh 
Second Second Chronicles 30 was this 36 or 30, yeah, 36 and 16, right? We warning you, but uh, it says I start at 15. It says second second chronicles 36 and 15 it says, And the Lord Yahweh their father sent them to them by his messengers rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, man. And this is the Lord showing you uh mercy, man. Because he really he could just destroy everybody now, man. He did during the time of the flood, okay, and then inside Mega Moore, man. But what did he do before he destroyed, you know, those empires? He he uh he uh gathered, you know. Uh, the people that he deemed, you know, fit for salvation, man. And it's the same thing now. You see? Showing the Lord he's all uh, righteous, man. He's fair, man. You know? But it says, but they mocked the messengers, and this was our people, of the Most High, and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. And this was getting ready to happen again. You see? You two-thirds that mocked it, so look at this like this is a joke or, you know, it's nothing's going to happen. Okay? You you fooling yourself, and and that's gonna lead to what your destruction, man. You see, that's gonna lead to your downfall, okay? Because let me get this. This is Isaiah nineteen. This word is going up, man. You see, all we have to do is what seal the name, like it says in what Revelations the the the, the seventh chapter, the seventh the seventh chapter, the fourteenth chapter. I think it's the seventh chapter. How the, uh, the elect will have the name sealed in their foreheads. Once the elect is sealed, that's it. The angels are going to get the green light. The Most High is going to get the angels the green light as he's starting to do now. You see him starting to pull back and letting them uh, release judgment out here. Okay, he's going to give them the green light to let all hell break loose out here. Because that's the only reason why the destruction hasn't fully come is because the, the elect and all, also the believers who are all Israelites, okay, they have to, uh, they have to uh, be brought in. Before the Lord destroys this place. Just like um, uh, Simon Gomorrah, I think Lot asked him, if there be 50 righteous people in the city, will you uh, destroy them too? But the Lord said no. He's going to, uh, 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 you know, he's going to allow them, you know, to get ready and get prepared and deliver them. And once that happens, what? He destroys Simon Gomorrah. It's the same thing now. You see? But um, it's Psalms 19. I mean, Isaiah 19. It's like it. This word has gone out, man. Okay, this is uh Psalms nineteen and one. It says to a, ch a chief, the, to a chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firm Yahweh by Shema Shah, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day on to day utter speech, and night on to night show of knowledge. And these videos is going up twenty four seven, man. Well, as you know, evening time, afternoon time, you see, midnight, you know, early in the morning, whatever, man. It's going up. Videos all over the place, man. There is no speech nor knowledge. You got brothers uh, reading sign language. You got brothers that can speak Spanish. You got, you know, all types of different languages being spoken, man. German, okay, Japan, you know, all these different things. But it says there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world, man. And what did it say in Matthew 24 and 12? And the gospel shall be preached. And what? Then shall the end come. And this is what you're seeing, Okay. And it says, and them have he set tabernacle for the sun. And how is this line going to go throughout the earth, you know, through the internet, okay? YouTube, social media, all these different social media platforms, man. It's gone out, man. You got celebrities that know they're the Israelites. You got the average Jake that know they're Israelites, man. You see, they might not say nothing about it, but they know they're Israelites. You see? That's because, what? It's gone throughout the world. It's gone out throughout the earth. And the fastest way it's gone throughout the earth is what? It's through... YouTube and through these other social media platforms, man. You see? So it's going, it's been out there, man. It's out there now. The truth is out. Okay? Like the scriptures say, truth shall spring out, you know, spring forth, man. Psalms 85th chapter, man. You see? It's out there. Okay? And like, like it says, you have no excuse now. Okay? Uh, let me see. This is uh John fifteen and in... 
right? And 22 says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had, they, they had not, not, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin, okay? Because the word is out. You heard it, man. You heard, you know, the, uh, 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 you're not supposed to eat pork. You heard, you know, you were Israelite. You heard who your enemy is, okay? What the Lord wants, okay? What he's coming to do. You heard all that, man, okay? So you really, at this point, nobody has an excuse, man, okay? Why you ain't repent, you see? Why you ain't stop eating pork? Why you ain't stop committing adultery? Why you ain't start smoking weed, you see? Why ain't stop doing this? Why ain't stop doing that, man? You had no excuse now. You see, if you continue to do those things, even after you heard the word, you see, it's because, what? You're rebellious. You, you want to be rebellious. You want to do what you wanted to do. You see? And that's going to, like I said, it's going to be detrimental, okay, to a lot of you Israelites out there, man. Okay? This is, uh... Because this was getting ready to happen. See, what, what happened yesterday, last night, okay, with YouTube, you see, that was showing, the Lord basically was showing you that he could instantly just put the spirit the spirit on these elites to cut the internet, uh, cut, you know, the internet off, man. And he's going to do it at some point. He's not going to keep just letting YouTube crash, you know, for, uh, 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 you know, half an hour or 10, 15 minutes and then bring it back up and everybody goes back to their folly. It's not going to keep working like that. Eventually, the Lord, he's going to allow these elites, okay, to shut this thing down, man. Okay? He's going to allow that to happen, and all hell's going to break loose, man. You see? You know what? Let me actually get this first before I get that Amos, right? This is James 4, right? And call the Lord, how about, how about Shema Shot, man? All right? This is James 4 and 7, right? It says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to Yahweh, because this is the time you should, you Israelite, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you ought to be seeking Yahweh by Shema Shah, like it says 10 times more in the Apocrypha, man. This ain't the time to be worrying about what's going on on social media. This ain't the time to be worrying about. Okay, what you got going on in your daily life. Now, you do have to take care of particular things, but I'm speaking of things that don't matter, man. You see? It says, Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. You see? Because Jake, they want the answers. They want answers. They want a solution, but they still want to be wicked within that, man. Like your Ice Cube and all of them. They all, you see how they want a solution. They talking about all these solutions they got, Okay? But they don't want to turn from their wickedness. You see? They don't want to uh, 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 stop, you know, being of this world, man. It's going to be destroyed eventually. See, they're double-minded, man. But it says, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your daughter be, your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves, okay, in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah. He shall lift you up. But a lot of our people don't want to humble themselves. A lot of our people, they want it. And they want it now. You see? If they don't see it, they can't. They can't touch it. They can't feel it. You see? They can't uh, uh taste it. You see? That's not good enough for them, man. It got to be there right then and there, man. You see? That's that's the thing with Jake. Jake don't want to be humble. You see? It says, speak not evil. One of another brother, another brethren. It says, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judge of his brother speaketh evil of the law and judge of the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who who art thou that thou judges another? It says, go to now. Here's the point. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year. Right? We gonna uh, we gonna we already got plans on what we gonna do the next year. You know, we gonna do this. We gonna you know go to this state. We gonna go to this country. You see? And buy and sell and get gain. You see? Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little a little time, and then vanisheth away, man. Okay. It says for ye that, and that's the thing, man. Nobody was expecting YouTube to uh crash like it did yesterday. Neither that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Like I said, I had thought they they knocked me off my channel. You see, 
they were being sketchy and they knocked me off my channel because you had other brothers, they were still uploading videos and I couldn't do nothing. But eventually, it turned out a crash, man. You see, nobody was expecting that. Nobody was even expecting COVID-19. Nobody was expecting COVID, period, man. You see, but it happened. You see? For ye that ought to say it, the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. You see? It says, but now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Okay, because the Lord, like I said, he's going to shut this thing down eventually. This is Amos 8 and 11. Because this, this is what the Lord's getting ready to do. You see? This is uh, Amos 8 and 9, right? Actually, you know what? And 8. It says, Shall not the land tremble for this, and every one mourn that dwelleth therein? And it shall rise up holy as a flood. It shall be cast out and drowned and by the flood of Egypt. You see? And that flood in the spirit is Esau either, man. You see? When it when it comes to pass and that comes to pass in that day, said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. And I will turn your feast in the morning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of, of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. And you see the Lord uh, took the murph out the land already, man. How much more when your social media and all that is de deactivated? You can't even do that no more. You see straight, you know, 1984 style, man. Look that, uh, watch that movie, man. Or read the book. You don't know what that is. Okay? How much more, man? Imagine how many people damn near had a heart attack, you know, when YouTube went down. Because a lot of people make their money on YouTube and these other different social media platforms, man. So imagine that going down, man. People going to lose it, man. People going to be bitter as hell, man. People are already bitter. You see? Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, which that's also coming. That's also happening. You going in stores now, you seeing empty shelves, man. I'm at the job now, and um, we had some uh, supposedly they had some trucks coming, and but they couldn't come. They had to cancel because you know why? They uh didn't have enough material. They ran out of material due to COVID nineteen once again. Okay, and you got these what second lockdowns? Now you got a uh, which I'm gonna do a video on it, a. a, a Truckers are planning to strike, you know, late this month, okay? But of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Asha. So this, this truth, man, this word, man, you see? So the Lord's going to cut this word off eventually. We're not going to keep, just be putting all these videos up just so you could click click on it. And if it's not to your liking, you just go to something else and ignore it, man. Go about your day. It's not going to keep working like that. That's going to stop eventually, you see? The scriptures say uh, it will be a day when no man can work, man. You see? And that's what's going to happen eventually. He says, And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it, man. Okay? So you mock and think this is a joke or it's, uh, it's, it's fantasy, it's falsehood. Okay, go ahead then. We ain't, we ain't uh, begging you to stop and listen. Go ahead. You see? But see where you're going to end up in the latter times, man. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, What? For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Which if you go into that word stability in that verse, it goes into faith, man. You see? But a lot of you uh Jakes that rejected it, what? You uh you ain't gonna know what to do. You just gonna be out here. When all hell breaks loose from the riots really get uh intense, you know, people start killing each other, bloods in the streets, martial law is fully implemented, and they gunning people down, and you don't you just out there, you ain't gonna have dances, man. And then you're going to try to do this. Like it says now, you're going to try to seek the prophets. You're going to try to look for the videos. And you're not going to find it, man. Because they're going to they're gonna deactivate the uh, internet. And the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to do it, man. The elites. All right? It says, in that day shall the fair virgin speak to what? You, uh, you, uh, you women out there, man. You decent looking women. You know? You feel like, you know... Only a certain particular person could talk to you if he ain't on your level. You won't be looking. Now nah, I don't want to pull the, uh, the, uh, you know, the intel, whatever, man. Okay? But if you go into that word, fair version, it talks about the beautiful woman. All right? 
And young men faint for thirst, man. You see? Your average Joe out here. Then you're going to have these celebrities. They're going to be looking for it, too. Because they're going to be in shit, too, man. They ain't exempt from this. So what if they got money? That money is not going to be, like it says in uh, the same Ezekiel 7, it's not going to be, your gold and your silver shall not deliver you in that day, man. And they shall cast it out in the streets, man. That's what's going to happen. Floyd Mayweather, all of them, they're going to all be wanting to look, okay, on what to do. But they're going to be through. You're going to be through. Because Amos 5, you know what? Amos Romans 11 and uh and 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election, the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, man. You see? And that's what's going to happen. So the elect, they're going to have what they need, okay, in the times to come. But you people going to be through. And what did it say? What did the Lord say? This is Amos 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent, which that's going to be what? The election, the elect, okay? And the believers and says shall keep silent in that time for it is an evil time, man. Okay? So we're going to keep silent, man. Unless the Lord allows, you know, you to uh, tell whoever, you know, what, man? Let me get that. This is uh, Ezekiel 3, right? And 26. It says in uh, Ezekiel 23 and 25. But thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt and thou shall not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover. For they are a rebellious house, man. You see? So the Lord uh, 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 is going to shut his men up, too. He's going to hide his men. You see? So you're just going to be through out here, man. So it's best that what? You seek the Lord while he may be found, man. You see? Like it says in um, uh, uh, Isaiah 55 and 8, man. All right? Call her Lord, Allah, Yahweh, Ba, Shema, Shah, Yahweh, Ratis, Adis, Edifying, Papa, Gesha, Ba, Papa, Aba, Papa, Aba, Ha, Ayapa, Aba, Ha, Ayapa. Shalom to the elect and to the few aqua that do listen and learn. Shalom. All right. So.